In just a matter of days, thousands of race fans will pack Charlotte Motor Speedway for the sporting event many call the crown jewel of the Queen City. And if you're hoping to grab a ticket to this weekend's Coca-Cola 600, I have to say you got to try next year because it is officially sold out. It'll be a big crowd. Uh, sports director Carla Gebhardt joins us now from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Carla, the action all kicks off tomorrow. That's right, guys, here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And of course, all eyes are set on this weekend's action. Everything's going to start picking up tomorrow with Xfinity Series practice and the truck race. But of course, the, the main event, the really big event, is the longest race of the season, the Crown Jewel race, which is the Coca-Cola 600 on Sunday. Now, there's a lot of things happening. Even today, a lot of teams hosting their fan days, including Junior Motorsports, which is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Xfinity Series team. And we were actually up there early today talking with him just about uh, his Xfinity Series team, Dirty Mo Media, his podcast company, and just the impact of the Coca-Cola 600 and the history of the sport. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, the Coca-Cola 600 uh, used to be called the World 600, and I always uh, joke around on social media uh, uh, remembering how it used to be named after uh, you know, the World 600 just sounds like the largest race you could possibly have, right? I mean, yeah. what an iconic name for a race. You know, I always appreciated how tough the race was and uh, that it's in our backyard. I grew, you know, I, as a kid, um, a long, long time ago, I remember, you know, begging Dad to go to races, but we never had to worry about Charlotte. We were always going to be able to get to Charlotte, being that it's so close to home. But seen a lot of good things happen there. And like we said, there's so much going on in the Charlotte area. Tomorrow, the big one is going to be Hendrick Motorsports and the Cup Series drivers there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. used to race for them. He's going to be out at HMS tomorrow starting early in the morning. They've got a stack lineup for tomorrow and on Saturday to help celebrate the 40th anniversary of Hendrick Motorsports. And of course, we will be out there and have updates for you on the four, five and six tomorrow, guys. All right.